This month is all about peonies, and I'm really, really excited to show you how I approach painting peonies. There are tons of different ways, but this is kind of my favorite way. So I'm gonna start with my pink color. This is Opera Rose, and I'm just mixing it into the other pinks that I already had on my palette. And first we're going to start with a peony bud. Now if you've ever looked at, at a peony, they just come in this really tight round ball shape and then the petals kind of open up from there. So to create that, we don't want to paint just a circle, although that would work. I'm going to start with my first petal and then, whoops, I didn't mean to grab red, I wanted my See, that's the same color I just grabbed. <laughs> I want kind of a, there we go. This is a lizard and crimson. I just want a more pink color just to vary it a tiny bit. And I'm kind of just building these petal shapes into a ball, trying to keep a little bit of white space and varying the color just a little bit so that you can see that there's more than one petal, it's not just a ball. And then for the greenery, I like to tap into the very bottom to kind of represent where, where that bud is, is connected to the stem. And then add a couple little leaves. And that's all you would do for a peony bud. Now if you don't want the green touching into your peony, just wait for this to dry completely before you add in your stem and your leaves. Okay, next we're going to do kind of a three-quarter facing peony. These are my favorite to paint because it just shows off the I guess fullness of, of peonies. They're so beautiful when they're all open and in full bloom. So I'm gonna start with the front of my flower. I'm just gonna paint a few little petals here in the front. Because we have to remember that the center was that ball shape. So I'm kind of painting these petals to surround that ball shape. And it helps me to imagine a sphere kind of in the center to know how to paint my petals kind of curving around that. And then you want to build your petals outward. I'm going to tap in just a little bit of extra color right here. This is where the flower would be the darkest. Just where those top petals are curving in and those outer petals are curving out. I'm going to add just a little bit there so that it's all, it's not just a flat color throughout. And then for this one, I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit before I add in the center. What you could do too is just in a lighter color come in and add more petals if you don't want that yellow center. I'm going to let that dry and we'll come back to that in a minute. I'm actually going to build this out just a tiny bit. Now this last way is a little bit more side facing. And I'm gonna start with the side petals again, but these are gonna be more upright because we're seeing more of the side than if I were to stop up here, it would probably end about there. And 
And again, I'm imagining a sphere here in the center. And you can think of these petals as kind of, uh, they're kind of heart shapes, but they're a little bit wonky, <laughs> wonky heart shapes. And I'm just adding more and more until it feels done. Now I've got the front part and I'm going to just paint the back right here. And this is more of a side facing. So this one, I added these petals in here, but you would see more of the center in this one and this you would see more of the side. And side view and three quarter view are my favorite way to paint peonies just because it really shows off how peonies look and you can really tell that it is a peony. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry just a little bit more. And tap in that color just right here. And I'm gonna get my yellow color ready using cadmium yellow medium hue and then yellow ochre. Yellow ochre just softens that up a little bit, but then the cadmium yellow keeps it bright, which I like. Now, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna go ahead and add my yellow stamen to the center, but you will want to wait until it's totally dry just so you don't get any bleeding you don't want. See, I'm getting some bleeding right here. That wouldn't happen if it was totally dry. Okay, and there you have it. That is how I paint peonies.